Let's bring the discussion back home. It is a big day for South Africa's matrix, the class of 2019, writing maths this morning. It was the bane of my existence back then. Now, the top achievers will become doctors, engineers, and scientists. But here's the thing. Maths is not a popular subject. And what's worse, our results are... Well, less than spectacular. Let's dive a little deeper with Michael Morelia, who is tracking the story uh, for us. So, uh, Mike, government in talks about the fourth industrial revolution. Uh, maths will no doubt be a very big part of that equation. Absolutely, Michelle. And uh, it has, in fact, been uh, 20 years since that famous film, The Matrix, came out. You and I probably would have been in our first few years of university. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> let's reveal our age. Uh, and if we uh, go into the numbers, Michelle, we'll explain why we're talking about the matrix, the maths matrix, if uh, you <laughs> want to put it that way. This number is really important, 270,516. That's the number of pupils who actually wrote maths in matric last year. We're not talking about maths literacy, Michelle. This is actually pure mathematics. So the kinds of subjects that you would need uh, if you want to become a doctor, if you want to become an engineer or an accountant. And this is important because it's less than 50% of the matrix who actually wrote their final exams last year. And you so reckon it's not if you, you don't need it for journalism? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's up for debate. But it's important because, Michelle, Essentially, a lot of pupils are just running away from maths. It's, a, it's less than 50% of the total amount of pupils who wrote the final exams actually chose mathematics as a subject. So it's suggesting that there's a problem. There's a small pool of maths pupils in this country. And let's just explore how they did. Those who did actually do maths, how did they perform? Well, it was a bit of a battle. Just 37% of them passing with more than 40%. That is an abysmal mark, Michelle. And as we quickly take a look at those who got distinctions, you're going to see just how difficult it is to dodge the bullet, as uh, Nao does in The Matrix. Just 3% of those matrix managing to pass with a distinction. And that translates, Michelle, to just under 6,000 distinctions for mathematics. And remember, a little earlier I told you 270,000 wrote the exam. So a tiny fraction actually managing to ace the subject. So, so Michael, I mean, I've, I've got this maths paper in front of me. It, it doesn't ring any bells, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Do you reckon, since we were in matric 20 years ago for me this year, in fact, but have things changed drastically in terms of the kinds of maths our pupils are doing? We're going to get to some of those questions. And uh, by the way, uh, viewers at home, I uh, gave Michelle half an hour to answer some of these questions. <laughs> Before we do, though, Michelle, I want to explore an, a crucial concept which might explain some of the problems, and that is the throughput rate. So this is something that the experts follow to see how many grade twos actually make it to matric and eventually pass matric. So it's all very well saying the pass rate this year was 75%. How many of the youngsters are actually getting into matric? Because we know South Africa has a big dropout rate. A lot of kids are not even making it to matric. So grade two, we had about a million. This is uh, the class of 2017, the matrix of 2017. In grade 10, roughly the same. But if we go to grade 12 now, Michelle, you'll see how uh, bad the dropout rate actually is. As we uh, move on, we'll get to a, a figure of about 500,000. 500,000 of those grade twos actually made it to matric. So roughly half, Michelle. And how many of those actually passed? It was about 400,000. So remember, at the top of your, your page there, grade two, a million pupils. By the time we get to grade 12 and those who actually passed it, Michelle, just 400,000. And just to put that into perspective, because at the end of the year, we always get the pass rate. In 2017, the pass rate was 75%. But our throughput rate, Michelle, was 55 percent for 2017 so clearly there is a problem in terms of getting pupils through to grade 12. now let's move on to those questions I'm ready. which i posed to you yep. a little earlier we also put this on social media a few hours ago and we've been getting a lot of responses from south africans thanks very much for trying by the way these were the questions and this is actually taken michelle from the 2018 matric yep. maths 
paper. So maths paper one, this is what matrics are dealing with now. You mentioned how difficult it seems to have gotten since we were in matric. Uh, and feel free to provide your answers for the first three questions. Once you've given them to me, I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. Okay, I've got the answer for question one there. It's <laughs> yes. Okay, yes, okay. And then for question <laughs> two, I think this is a weather-related question because there's an umbrella there. Fantastic, yes. I'm going to say 60% chance of rain. <laughs> <laughs> and then for question three, mm, yes, um, I got as far as um, three X's. Th three three X's is the answer. You like black like kisses? That, okay, yeah, yeah. I get it. I, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Fascinating uh, insights into um, <laughs> mathematics there, Michelle. Michael, you're embarrassing me on national television. <laughs> Let us reveal the answers as the country awaits to find out uh, if Michelle will get a PhD in maths. Uh, the answer to question one, Michelle, is x equals one third or x equals minus four. Question two, the answer basically is x equals one ninth, Michelle. And finally, question mm -hmm. three. We had to simplify this to its most basic form. Mm -hmm. That was the that was the question, and the answer minus x to the so power I was right of three. For the, I was right for the third one. I said three x's. Well, somewhere along the line, you got threes <laughs> and x's. I don't know if they were in the right order. Uh, but there we go, South Africans. We will have the answers uh, on social media for you as well. If you did try our test, you can uh, find out how you actually did. All right, I do see where I went wrong there, Michael. Uh, Thank you. I'm no going to go back and do those equations. Minor error. Minor <laughs> error. Well done. All right.